Once upon a time, a witch loved stories galore, and greedy as she was, she wanted more and more. When she saw that the librarian had stories of all kinds, she said, I'll capture you, all your stories will be mine. There took place a curious chase through meadow, tree, and flower, till at last they ended up right at the witch's tower. Now poor Marion the librarian, a prisoner she'll stay until the witch is happy and lets Marion go away. Hi, I was hoping you'd come and help me get a rhyming story for Kerfumbly today. But do you know I'm getting a little bit worried? There aren't very many things left in this trunk to make stories out of. I did find a couple of things that rhyme, though. Look at this. Rat, hat. They rhyme, don't they? Rat, hat. Let's try those in the machine for a rhyming story. Hat, rat. And here are two other things that rhyme. Some glue and a shoe. Glue, shoe. They rhyme too, don't they? We'll put them in the machine. Shoe, glue. Those were the only things I could find that rhymed, but I did find somebody very cute. It's a little giraffe. So I thought maybe our rhyming story could be about a giraffe. Let's try that. And we'll turn the machine on. <laughs> And the book is called A Giraffe and a Half. Shel Silverstein wrote this book, and it's just full of rhyming words. In fact, Kerfumbly could help me tell this story. She might enjoy that. Help me call her, will you? Left and right and Zachary Zoo, here's a story just for you. Marion. Marion, where are you? Turn around, Kerfumbly. You're backwards. Oh, there you are. Oh, and you have a story. Does it have rhyming words? Yes, it does. In fact, it has so many rhyming words that you could help me tell the story just by saying the words that rhyme. Well, I could help tell the story. Oh, dear. Would you help me with the rhyming words? Oh, good. Why, Marion, I'd be glad to help you. All right. You just join in whenever the rhyming words come. Uh, are you ready to help with the rhyming words? All right. Well, then let's begin, Marion. All right. If you had a giraffe and he stretched another half, you would have a giraffe and a half. Now... If he put on a hat and inside lived a rat, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat. Oh, good, Kerfumbly. Now, keep going. If you dressed him in a suit and he looked very cute, you would have a giraffe and a half, here we go, with a rat in his hat, hat looking cute in a suit. suit. Oh, that's very good. Now, if you glued a rose to the tip of his nose, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat, hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose. If a bumbly old bee stung him right on the knee, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee. Oh, that's very good. Now, if he put on a shoe and then stepped in some glue, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat, hat looking cute in a suit, suit with a rose on his nose, nose and a bee on his knee, knee and some glue on his shoe. shoe. 
And if you gave him a flute and he played tooty toot, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat, hat. looking cute in a suit. suit with a rose on his nose, nose and a bee on his knee, knee and some glue on his shoe, shoe playing toot on a flute. flute. Now, if he used a chair to comb his hair, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair. Oh, that's wonderful. Now, if he tripped on a snake who was eating some cake, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat, hat looking cute in a suit, suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake. If he found an old trunk and inside was a skunk. You would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat, hat. looking cute in a suit. suit with a rose on his nose, nose and a bee on his knee, knee and some glue on his shoe, shoe playing toot on a flute, flute with a chair in his hair. hair and a snake eating cake, cake, and a skunk in a trunk. trunk. If he met a fat dragon who sat in a wagon, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat, looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon. If he jumped on a bike and rode over a spike, you would have a giraffe and a half with a spike in his bike. bike. Yes, good. Now, if a blubbery whale got a hold of his tail, you would have a giraffe and a half with a whale on his tail. Tail, good. And now, if he fell in a hole that was dug by a mole, you would have a giraffe and a half in a hole with a mole. Oh, very good. But if you brought him a pole, to climb out of the hole and the whale left his tail and went off for the mail and he gave the spiked bike to a scout on a hike and he left the fat dragon cause his wagon was sagging and he gave his chair to a tired old bear and he traded the flute to a bird for some fruit and he told that old snake to go jump in the lake. And a man who bought junk bought the trunk with the skunk. And he gave the rose to a girl he chose, while the bee on his knee flew away with a flea. And he put the shoe with the glue on you. 
And that silly old rat ran away with his hat. And he put his suit in the laundry chute. And he shrank another half. You would have a giraffe. Uh, well, is that the end of the story? Yes, it is. Oh, but that can't be the end. I, I want some more story. Read some more, Marion. Well, well, Kafumbly, that was the last page, see? Well, it can't be. There has to be more. That story's too short. Well, uh, uh, would you like me to read it again? No. I want more story, more rhyming words. You made the story too short, Marion. Just for that, I'm going to make you short as a... As a dandelion. No, no, now wait a minute. I, um, I, I, I just thought of a way we could make the story longer. You did? Mm hmm We can, um, we can add to the giraffe story with our own rhyming words. Oh. Yeah, let's try that. Now, put on your thinking cap. Are you ready? Okay, okay, now, if you had a giraffe with an egg on his an egg on his uh, leg an egg on his leg why that's good <laughs> now if you had a giraffe with a rocket in his a rocket in his pocket a rocket in his pocket well that's good too <laughs> Now, Kerfumbly, if you had a giraffe with a pail on his... A pail on his... What? Pail, yes. A pail on his tail. Well, that's good, too. <laughs> you see, you can make the story as long as you want to with your own rhyming oh, words. Oh, why, yes, I could make my own rhyming story. Oh, it's... Fun to find rhyming words. But, but, but you made this story too short. I want a longer story. Another one. You just be sure that it's longer. And what is this longer story supposed to be about? Oh, well, uh, it could be about a hair. A hair? A story about a hair? Oh, I know. Hair is another word for rabbit. I bet she wants a story about a rabbit. I'll ask her. Kerfumbly? Kerfumbly? Oh, she's gone. I'm sure she must want a story about a rabbit, though. Will you be looking for some rabbit stories? Good. I'll meet you here next time. Once upon a time, a witch loved stories galore, and greedy as she was, she wanted more and more. When she saw that the librarian had stories of all kinds, she said, I'll capture you, all your stories will be mine. There took place a curious chase through meadow, tree, and flower, till at last they ended up right at the witch's tower. Now poor Marion the librarian, a prisoner she'll stay, until the witch is happy and lets Marion go away.